congratulations. I was talking to the gaffer just now about Norwich's substitution, which was very telling because it was a substitution that was earmarking you, I thought, but you must be very happy. Yeah, I think as a whole, you know, as a team, we're happy, you know, to, to come to a tough place like this, Carrow Road, and get the result that we needed, you know, and everyone's happy, you know, and the, the momentum's building and the confidence is growing, so we just look forward to every game now. How is this set up psychologically by the management team? Because Norwich City came to Brentford, perhaps Brentford were a little unlucky that day. Was that used psychologically to get revenge today? Um, I won't say revenge, I'd probably just say um, that we just we just had it in the back of our mind a little bit, you know, and we're coming to do what, do what we want to do, which is play football the right way. And um, it, it paid off and, you know, scored the two goals and, and at the end we defended well. How is it different playing in front of big crowds? What's good and what's bad about it? Compared um, with playing in front of smaller crowds, which you've done as well, I'd say there's there's not really there's not really any bad any bad things about playing in front of big crowds because you know you can you can always block out things, but the the good things is you know you can hear you can hear everyone you know and, and when the atmosphere is up, it's it's unbelievable to play in sometimes and just to know that there's how many thousands shouting at you you know what I mean and behind you so it just it motivates me it motivates me personally anyway and, and it should do the team. Tell us a little bit about Chris Long, the new boy. What do we know of him? Um, to be honest, we haven't. I haven't seen too much of him, you know, because um, the the weather's been a bit under the, so um, we haven't really got the chance to train properly, you know, because um, the pitches are frozen. But what I've, what I've seen, little bits of him, he looks he looks tidy player, you know, and, and I, I wish him the best here. Um, also, uh, revenge-wise, Mark Warburton has said many times, and Sam Saunders used the word Middlesbrough, it was the worst half of the season so far. Again, is that motivation to go and play better against Middlesbrough on Saturday? Set that up for us. Yeah, I think, I think we, like today, you know, we have to keep the previous result in the back of our minds, you know, and, and on that day, you know, we didn't really play to our best, and and we let our standards drop, but we just got to dig in. And you know, when we play them at home, it's going to be a good game, and it's on the box as well. So that put everyone up for the game. So everyone's looking forward to so it. Everyone's got to have their hair done yeah. for that. Definitely. Yeah. One final one. Mark's very keen on talking about you as a group about the substitutes. Now you've been at Brentford a little while, and got to know the chaps. Who's the who's the clown of the group, and who's the thinker? Um, who's the comedian first? I say there's. <laughs> Off, off the top of my head, there's, I'd probably say Tamani, Tamani Diego. I mean, he's, he's, he's very funny to me, you know, and, and, and my, my close mate Andre, I, f I find him hilarious. And um, I think I'd probably say Jonathan Douglas. Right, okay, being the, being the old head. Well, many congratulations, another terrific performance. Very grateful for you speaking Thanks to us, Moses.